Hi everyone. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Chuck from the Toronto Concussion Clinic and today I'm going to show you another exercise on visual processing uh, called Tangrams. It's actually a pretty challenging uh, exercise and uh, so there might be some simpler ones for you to start with. Um, basically it comes with these patterns here and these little shapes and you have this little design book and you basically, you know, you can thumb, thumb through them and see all these different designs and the solutions are on the other side of the cards. And there could be other ways to solve it other than this, what the solution card shows you. Uh, and they're pretty challenging. So like, look at this one here. Um, so you have to kind of get an idea of the spatial relationship between the arrow and the stem here and the arrow here and you have to kind of use all of these shapes to make this, right? So like, you know, if you started like this and you started like that and you start putting something in the middle, how would you like use these also to fit? So, you know, you'd have to be like, okay, well, to be, in order to use all these shapes, I would have to bulk it up a bit, right? So I would bulk it up like that like that, and then you just be okay, well the stem has to be a bit wider then. So, it would be something like that maybe, something like that, and and so on. And, uh, let's see, it would make sense to do this like that over here, and then put these ones in between, but I have to admit, in the interest of time, I looked ahead and I I saw that that's not the way it was done, so um, it was done. And there's, there, like I said, there could be other ways to do it, but this is the way the solution is. So if you have the time, try to do it on your own, and you'll see the solutions like that. Obviously, do it without looking at the solution, but like that. So we were right, though, that the triangle had to be bigger. And see those, obviously, if you want the stem to be roughly the, the right size, it would be like that. And um, this triangle would go here. And then this one goes like that. Have to be the long edge. The long edges match up, and it'd be like that. So I know that I know we looked at the solution, but you could see how it'd be challenging to do it on your own, and you would have to really use a lot of visual processing skills to compare this edge um, to this edge and this edge, and also compare the, the proportions of the head of the arrow to the stem of the arrow, and um, be able to like geometrically place these in a way that they can fill that pattern over here. Now another thing you could do if you want to make it even more challenging and this might be something better done with parquetry blocks and we'll show you that exercise next time but you could also just like start off by drawing like a house you know I'll show you this in a sec and you could uh, have something like this and then try to design it for yourself. So we could start off with, okay, well, the roof has to be like that. And the base of the house would be something like, see, the chimney would have to be something like that. That's not the right size. So that's 
be a bigger triangle. The long edge. And that won't work. <laughs> Tried. And let's see. Okay, we can get the house like that. And we're pretty close. Uh, now, how are we going to get this to the only way I can think of is like that and like that. Now, you can see that this chimney is too big. And, you know, obviously it doesn't look like we have the right pieces here to do that. But the task is really just to train and to practice these vi these visual spatial type arrangements in your head and practice that. Um, obviously they've already done all the work for us and they figured out what kind of things you can actually do. But you can come as close as you can and you start to realize, you know what, it won't work. And as you practice that, usually after a week or two, people start to be able to put it all together in their heads. So you can still train even though this is too hard for you at this time. You can start with something easier and if you don't get it perfect. And if anyone knows a solution to draw this using these uh, without cutting this, feel free to let us know. But uh, I'm not sure we can because we have to make it this thin, right? Actually, when I drew it, I was almost going to draw it like that <laughs> because I kind of envisioned that this was going to happen. Anyways, uh, I hope that was helpful for you guys and uh, stay tuned. We'll come out with another video soon to help you on your road to recovery. Take care, everyone. Bye.